Welcome back to the channel. I am Justin Belasco and you're watching Field Dreams Club. As you can see by the title, I deleted my social media. Well, sort of. It's been a while since I sat down in front of the camera on this channel, on the Field Dreams Club channel, so I felt like I needed to do it. First off, I want to thank you guys for the support. You guys have been watching the video still, even when I don't even upload, uh, which is pretty cool because that shows I have a community, I have a fan base, I guess you could say. I do plan on uploading more videos in the future. Um, maybe some videos like this where I just pick a topic either about depression or sadness, whatever it is, uh, or just different types of topics uh, throughout uh, Christianity, throughout the Bible, and I just explain it, how it relates to me and how it can maybe help you. But let's cut to the chase here. Did I really delete my social media? So before I answer this question straightforward, I had to give you guys some context on why I did this. So back in around like November or December, uh, I decided to really try to get close to God because I realized that God saved me, that Jesus saved me, and I realized that, hey, I really don't know too much about Jesus. Um, as I should and if somebody saves you if, some, if a random person saves you on a street from getting hit by a bus maybe um, hopefully that doesn't happen but if somebody does that you would want to know mo more about that person and why he did that so I feel like it's the same thing uh, for Christ uh, if he saved me and he died on the cross he saved everybody I would want to know why he did that so that's why I really wanted to get more closer to God and one of the things I did early on uh, was disconnecting myself from video games. Uh, so I don't play uh, video games at all anymore. I'm not saying that you shouldn't, I'm just saying for me, it was just a distraction. It was distracting me from trying to get closer to God. And like I said, it just doesn't mean that you should stop playing video games. I feel like everybody has a different uh, thing they need to work on or they need to remove from their life. And for me, it was just video games. For me, I felt like video games had no value to my life and they didn't add nothing to me. It didn't give me anything to take with me throughout my whole day or throughout my whole life. Then I just began to get out more, to go to stores randomly, to go eat, to restaurants by myself, because I felt like if I was by myself, I could think more. I could talk to God more. I was in my car just sitting with the lights off, with the engine off. I just sat there with the lights off and everything and just thought, I was just thinking. I was just talking to God, it was just me and God. And then I began to read my Bible and I've always read my Bible here and there, um, but I felt like I needed to know more about it because I really didn't know nothing too much about it. And um, now recently I've been doing stuff like going to church. I found a church, which is awesome. You know, round of applause for me, I guess. <laughs> I found a church and it's an awesome church. I've been going to it uh, for a couple, like two months maybe, I don't know. And it's been awesome. I've been connecting more with people and it's like a community, it's like a home and it's awesome. The thing is when I got rid of the video games, I started to become more outgoing. I started to go out more. I started to start conversations myself with, with random people, like in a store, I was like, like, hey, nice shirt, nice hoodie, whatever. I started to really realize that, hey, um, I was distracted from God. I was distracted from good in general. The main goal for me that I realized was that I need to disconnect myself from the world and connect myself more with God because the world is ran by Satan right now and it's hard to see that it's so weird because i could see it so clearly it's like night and day like when i see the world now i'm like oh that's satan you know satan is really in this real world running it so I, then i prayed and i just asked god what's next i feel like there's something that's taking me down still or that's interrupting me for some reason and a thought popped up in my head and i was like social media and I was debating on this because I was like, I'm a social media influencer, I guess, or I'm a content creator. I can't really delete my social media. And then another thought popped in my head. I was like, well, I could schedule my post. You know, I could, there's ways to schedule, there's ways to upload videos to social media without even going on, on it through your phone. So this is, this is a tip for any influencer out there. Um, that's struggling with social media or you're just scrolling on it, whatever, whatever, you're just indulging yourself uh, with social media, you could schedule your posts. You could just, when you're home, you could schedule your posts and all that. Um, you have to be more organized. You have to treat it like a job a little bit in a sense, but you will be more productive. Because when you're outside, you have your phone on you like 24 seven. 
you know you look for it you know when you forget it in the car like well i need to get my phone right now um so i deleted my social media uh for my phone i didn't delete my social media account so i still have my social media accounts as you could probably tell still <laughs> but um i deleted it because it was a distraction you know i felt like when i was outside i would just look at social media look at people's stories you know and um I didn't, really, I didn't really care for the stories, but it was just something like, it was like a little, like, a muscle memory, I guess. I wasn't even thinking about doing it, it would just happen. If you guys want to get closer to God, think about it. Are you watching social media more than reading your Bible? If you are, you may have to delete your social media accounts. Or just on your phone. To get closer to God, you have to sacrifice a lot of things that you think you love, but you really don't. In the moment, you're like, well, I really I really don't know what I'm going to do if I take this away from my life. Like video games, I was like, I play video games all day, you know, just, just something that I, I like to do, I love to do. And then now, I'm like a couple of months out, and I'm like, I don't, I'm never going back to video games. You know, it's like, I don't want it no more, you know, I just, I'm, I'm happy with the simple life. You know, that's the goal, is to get just a simple life, like how, how it was before technology. I start posting more content, I feel like it's, it's gonna get more stronger, more better quality and better like um, structure to the videos now, I believe. But I'm always working on uh, the Field Dreams Club on this channel, on this brand uh, constantly. Um, I've been really working behind the scenes and um, hopefully, uh, God willing, that you guys will see all the things I have planned. But well, there you go. That was the answer to this title, I guess. I deleted social media off from my phone because it was a distraction. I did, didn't delete it completely because I'm still a social media content creator, I guess. And I like doing that. And I feel like I do have a part in this world, I guess, making content. Um, and I'm always a person who doesn't want to make the same uh, videos as anybody else. I want to be unique. And I'm still... Um, doing things I'm still thinking about things like hey should I take this away um, I'm actually thinking about now getting a flip phone and having that as my main phone like a regular old flip phone having that as my main phone and just having my other phone at home just being there you know maybe as my camera or something if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button also we do have a merch site a uh, clothing site it is fueldreamsclub.com uh, links in the description or maybe on the screen as well um, but links in the description uh, make sure you guys check it out we got hoodies we got t-shirts i think we got this uh, available uh, mine's a little worn out maybe uh, but it's called, it says strength through christ um these are really good uh, i watch this like a lot of times and it's still pretty it's still pretty on there so that's pretty cool, you know, and it has a thing on the back, but I don't feel like turning around. But go ahead and uh, cop yourself some clothing uh, if you can. If you can't um, buy any merch, it's okay. You supporting the channel by viewing the video, by liking the video and commenting, that's the same amount of support. But thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.